What is up, professionals? I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Sparks here, and today, which I don't know what day it is, honestly, so let me check my phone. It is March the 28th, and they have given us the Inferno Retro Classic in GTA 5. Yeah, sorry, Infernus Classic. I don't know why I call it the Inferno. Whatever, we're going to go upgrade this bitch, and it's going to be fun. We're going to see what they gave us. I used to love this car. Oh, I remember the fun times I used to have in this car. Alright. Armor. Bodywork. We got fins. Zoom in. Okay, that's really not much of an option, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that, I guess. Brakes, clearly. Engine. Oh, shit, I can upgrade the engine. Engine block. What? Well, really, I have to go with secondary then. Engine cover. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll make it that, and then we'll see what happens. You already know none of my stuff is ever set in stone. Four piece tip. Titan tip. Titanium exhaust. I definitely prefer the second. Yeah, too thick. Horn. Truck horn. Lights. Yep. Yep. Alright. Plate. Go on black. Sparks. Wait for respray for a minute. Yeah, a couple little skirts and stuff. Nothing major. Splitters. Anything good? Yeah, so far that one wins. Ooh, that one wins. That one definitely wins. Okay. Spoiler. Did it come in the blue? I need a secondary color spoiler. Really? There's no option to have it in blue. You bastards. Well, that's kind of crap. Oh, well. Alright, suspension lowered to the floor. Transmission upgraded to the max. Turbo installed. Windows black that bitch out. Wheels. Hmm. Some weird looking rims, but whatever. Let's see. Ooh. I am glad that they're giving us more and more of these cars with the raise up front lights. It's a cool little feature. It's something different. Uh, I do wish they'd give us more freaking rims, though, because, come on, it's been three years, I'm staring at the same dang rims. Hmm. I should see after if I can actually change that. Oh, what is that? Sports Classics? Let's see what the sports wheels look like. Crap. 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 That one's not bad. I guess I'll... Yeah, I'll go with the diamond cut. Man. I don't want to change the color of that yet. Because it's not done yet. Alright, bulletproof tires, tire smoke, I can wait. Now the fun part, respray. What do we want to make this thing look like? Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Eh. Actually, that really doesn't look too bad. I'll go with that. Pearlescent. There's a nice hot blue. There's that bright, bright, bright blue. Ultra blue. Look at that ultra blue. There it is. Ultra. Ultra blue. Wait, what? Oh, wow, they have an even lighter blue. I don't care about that one. Secondary color. Metallic. Look that ultra blue. Uh, yeah, that back fin's gonna have to be changed to black, because that's just way too much blue, honestly. Trim color. Ultra blue, why not? Screw it. I don't care. Everything will be so dang bright. Yeah. <laughs> this whole thing is going to be bright as hell. Alright, now it was engine pieces. Engine. Engine cover. Yeah. Uh, primary or... 
I mean, any black on the car really? No. Er, never mind, the front grill. Okay, so that's what I'll count it as. I'll count it as matching the front grill. Alright, wheels. Goddamn wheels. Wheel color. Where's that ultra blue? Bright blue. That's not the right color. It's very close, but it's not the right color. Baby blue is not even close. Alright, I guess we're going with bright blue. And tires. Tire smoke. Blue. Alright, we did it. We did it. Now you can go bring it outside and see how it rides. Oh, by the way, this was not a cheap car. If you're going to be buying this car, you're going to be looking to spend about 900 grand starting. So, this is definitely for all... I always forget about the freaking undercarriage light. Why do I always forget about that? Alright, so this thing's a sports classic. Let's see what a sports classic can do nowadays. What do you got? What do you got for speed? Of course, Rockstar and putting their damn speedometers right where you can't read them. Guys, what is your obsession with this? Huh? Am I supposed to read that? I don't want to fucking sit on the floor and read it. Whatever. Shut up, LJT. I don't care. Alright. Nah, I mean, I'm not expecting this car to go fast. Fast as, like, as fast as the Nero and stuff, but this car should go pretty dang fast. It used to be one of the quickest ones we had. Ugh! Handbrake is not the best. So, turning is a little bit annoying, but hey, you, I mean, as with any car, you get used to it after you've driven it for a little while. That's how it works anyway. You're not just going to jump into a supercar and be like, oh, yeah, this thing drives great, because you got to figure out how it drives first. But, um, I mean, the car's not bad. It feels pretty good in my hands. It's not... It's not the most responsive, uh, I'll say that, but, I mean, what did we expect? It is only a sports classic, it's not a super. But that, on the other hand, is one of the major downfalls. You're charging me 900 grand for a sports classic, whereas the other week you gave me a supercar for $200,000 less. So, Rockstar Math is really up its own ass right now. Unless I'm clearly only paying for this car for the nostalgia reasons, then there's no reason it should be 900 grand. Not even close. This car is maybe along the same lines as... Hmm, maybe the Entity, or... You know, not even the Entity, maybe the Massacre. Yeah. Yeah, the Painted Massacre and the Jester, that seems like about the same area where I would place this car. So, definitely not worth 900 grand. You have the 900 grand and you're just such a huge fan of the Olden Furnace that you have to have it, then sure, buyer beware on your aspect because it's still not going to be worth it in the end. But, if you're doing it for nostalgia reasons, then sure, why not, buy the car be like, hey, yeah, it feels like GTA 3 and Vice City again, even though this car clearly does not look exactly the same as it used to. The front end's not bad. It looks pretty similar, but the back end, not so much. But other than that, the car's kind of cool. I will give it that. It looks cool. It feels cool. It's got some cool customizations. It's just expensive as hell, which is unnecessary for a sports classic. So that's basically my buyer beware on this, is if you want it, for nostalgia reasons, go ahead and get it. But if that $900,000 price tag is going to deter you, then hey, I'd say screw it, wait for the next car. I'm sure there'll be another one next weekend or next week that you can tune in and see if that one's worth getting instead. But until then, I will leave you guys till the next video. And I would say, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, because it helps my channel. Or sub to me, because I do stuff like this every time a new car comes out. 
I have Let's Plays on my channel, and I do GTA 5 highlights every Monday. So, yeah, hopefully I will be seeing you guys in the future. And make sure to leave a comment with how you think the car turned out, or your opinion on the car in total. And, because I'll be checking later, so give me your opinion, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.